Hi, this is Captain Chaudhary. I will continue my lecture on Gyro. I welcome you to attend this session of Gyro. Suppose you are asked to draw the path of a north axle of an undamped Gyro that is gravity controlled in northern hemisphere. How would you do that if the starting point is horizontal and in an azimuth say 40 degrees? So let us understand that this is the meridian, this is the horizontal. We start at this point with certain azimuth. The only force that is acting at this point is the drifting and tilting. Tilting because you have azimuth, so much azimuth and upwards because you are on the eastern side. So if you consider this part of the parallelogram, the path to be followed should be this way. However, we come to a point whereby the drifting force is equal to control precision. Tilting at this point is maximum upwards. That means you must have understood that this is the level at which this is the level at which the control precision is equal to drift. Control precision as you know is dependent on the tilt. So you have got so much of tilt at this tilt the control precision becomes equal to drifting. So the path that is followed by the axle would be this way. And hereafter till uh, say this point the path that is traveled would be same like our previous description. At this point tilting disappears the control precision is maximum here because the tilt is maximum you have the standard drifting in eastward direction, eastward drifting because you are in northern hemisphere. Now this brings the axle over here. The forces in between would be standard. Say for example, if you want to show tilting here, it will be upwards. If you want to show tilting here, it will be downwards. The drifting direction does not change. Control precision above this level is more than drifting and control precision below this level is less than drifting and control precision below the horizontal will be reversed in direction. Okay, so at this point once again we will have drifting equal to control precision and tilting maximum downwards and this is how we come at this point at this point because you are horizontal because you are horizontal there is no control precision you're going to have the drifting but because you have an azimuth you're going to have tilting and because you are on the west side the tilting will be downward so this shows the path to come to meridian uh, just for your interest, in, in case you want to show this point, the forces at this point, the drifting will be as usual the same. Okay, Tilting will be downwards because you are on the west of meridian. Now which way will be control precision? Control precision is normally westward in this, but because your axle is dipped below the horizontal, control precision will be this way and swiftly the axle will come to the meridian. In the meridian, of course, you will have just the drifting and nothing else. And this is how your ellipse is complete. Now suppose you are asked to draw the path which is phrased by north axle of a gyro, but in southern hemisphere. It is a gyro that is gravity controlled, undamped, but in southern hemisphere, you have to draw the north axle. So let's say uh, here is the meridian. and this is horizontal. Starting point is once again northeasterly azimuth, but you are horizontal, the axis starts from here. Now, what happens is because you are on the east side, the tilting has to be upwards. Because you are in southern hemisphere, so drifting has to be westwards. The axle will be taken up as you can see. If you make a parallelogram, the direction of movement would be this. So eventually what happens is the axle comes to the meridian. On the meridian, tilting naturally will disappear. You will have the drifting. 
And at the moment, because you are above the horizontal, what will happen is the control precision direction will not be opposite to drifting. It will be in the same direction as drifting. So swiftly the axle is brought on this side, but as soon as you come on this side, there is a tilting that is downwards, tilting that will act downwards, and that downwards tilting will bring the axle to the horizontal. The moment the axle is horizontal, the control precision disappears. You have drifting and you have tilting. And these two forces, if you make the parallelogram, will try to move the axle in this direction. And eventually, the axle is brought to a level. Axle is brought to a level at which the drifting becomes equal to control precision. Tilting is maximum downwards because it is the maximum azimuth you are talking about and the axle will gradually be brought to the meridian. You may show one of the intermediate positions, say for example over here the drifting is westwards, the control position is eastwards and tilting is downwards. And because control precision is more than drifting, as uh, you know, this is the major axis of the ellipse. On this side of the major axis, the control precision is always more than drifting. And because the control precision is uh, more than drifting and tilting is acting downwards, the axle is brought in a southeasterly direction and eventually the axle is brought to the meridian. When the axle is in the meridian, tilting disappears. The only forces which are left is drifting this way and control precision maximum. And because the control precision is more than drifting, axle is brought on the east side of the meridian and gradually following the same pattern, you will find that moves to a level where the control precision is equal to the drifting and tilting is maximum upwards and this is how your loop is completed.